Um, by the way, there's concerns for Manchester United's new striker Rasmus Hoyland this morning. He's on the back pages of the newspapers. We're going to talk about it in a minute. But in the meantime, I've been speaking to his first ever coach at FC Copenhagen. Welcome along to Talksport Breakfast, Alfred Johansson. Hoyland! A star in the making, Rasmus Hoyland! He's very demanding with himself, but also very demanding with everyone around himself, players and, and staff members, to work on the things that he needed to improve, that he felt he wanted to improve. One thing that I can't wait to see at Manchester United is the speed of him as well. He's Atalanta's fastest player in the 2022-23 season, running at 35.97 kilometres per hour. Just how quickly is that when you're witnessing it in real life? He obviously is very fast. The number speaks for, for themselves, but I think... I think it's been a, a big improvement because he was not always the, the fastest player, you know. Again, going back to, to how he is, he's been working very hard with both the running techniques, sprinting techniques. He's more fast now than when I when I was uh, coaching him. And he's a big lad as well at six foot three. Can you remember what his diet was like? I imagine that's quite a, a big person to fill up. Yeah, I, I remember speaking to his dad <laughs> because... Uh, he has probably, you know, already has two younger brothers that mm -hmm. uh, are are playing uh, here with us now, and um, I just asked him how how much uh, how much food they were they were having at home, and he told me that they would they would they spent a fortune every day just filling out the the fridge. What's your standout memory uh, or moment of watching Rasmus when he was younger? One of the standout uh, memories that I have is that. He has he has a period where things are a bit tough for him. Mm -hmm. He was not performing very very well at the time at under 17. We had a winter break and then uh, after Christmas he was starting to train with under 19. Uh, and I remember coming to to the first uh, friendly game of the preseason with uh, with under 19. Mm -hmm. And he just looked like a beast from the first minute and was playing so good. So I don't know what it is in that Christmas period, but. Uh, Something's like sometimes it's like this, and uh, and he just uh, made a big step in a wow. short period of time there. Don't like the way they compare him to Haaland. That's it's unfair. That's it unfair, is isn't it? Was it nine goals in Serie A last year? Yes, I think so. In all, well, sixteen goals in all competitions for forty-two appearances last season. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, the comparisons to Haaland will will come. And I actually asked Alfred how many goals do you predict he would get because it came that Haaland would get fifty goals coming to the Premier yeah. League, and he said, "I'm not going to give you a number on no. that because it's impossible he's, to tell." But he will improve them. His attributes. He's got the attributes. He's he's big and strong. Yeah. He can use both feet. He's quick. You know, he can link up play, but he's 20. And he's a machine. He yeah. said he's never come machine, across yeah. a player so strict and yeah. demands so much of a coaching staff. He's got to improve every game he plays in the Premier League because mm. at 20 years old, you don't realise you're learning so much every every game you play. I wonder if there's a problem, though, because back pages of the papers today, Hoyland will struggle to play two games a week. Than really? Those, but yeah, apparently it's been revealed an MRI scan conducted as part of the Danish striker's medical last week revealed a stress response hotspot, can, hotspot sorry, in his back, which Ooh. can lead to stress fractures for younger players. Now, Alan, you've dealt with that in your yeah. career. Uh, United said it would take several weeks for Hoyland to reach match fitness due to a small issue sustained in pre-season training at Atalanta, but didn't go into detail. Now, also, um, there's a piece in the mail by Mark Leather, who's a, a former Liverpool head physio. And um, the headline is 72 million man could be six weeks from fitness. He said it's not too serious and a very common thing in teenage footballers. Often they reach 17, 18 or 19. And there's a sudden increase in the intensity and workload. And that can cause stress fractures in the well, back. So I'm glad they can find it so early now. But I remember as a kid in the youth team, we used to do loads of weights. They say that's bad for you now at that age because you're, you're not fully formed your bone yeah. structure and joint you shouldn't be lifting heavyweights so it's all changing isn't it and yeah. as, as you say as well I mean he stretched at one point I mean his coach saw that as well he came in and he was a big physical man at one point so they increased the load and then it's too much for the back um, as for Rasmus Hoyland he played for Denmark on June 19th so it means he could still be six weeks from full fitness but that's without knowing the severity of the, the particular injury and the stress factor anyway so we've not heard anything in full from Manchester United but could be worrying for a Manchester United fans a lot of pressure as well on him you know to be because Martial can't keep fit and can't perform there's a lot of pressure on the young lad and 
Hopefully he, um, you know, performs. It's about what I mean. They say he won't be able to play two games a I know, week. I know, mm. in the Champions League now. Mm. Mm. Again, we don't know the full extent, so fingers crossed he's good. Okay. Yep. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.